So I get in the car, you know, and I look at it and the, and the gas gauge says it's, it's half a tank. And I'm like, okay, I'm just, you know, you start a road trip. You want to just get on the road. Get no, out of town. wait a minute. Wait, wait, who doesn't fill up? That's the first thing I do oh, when man, I go on a road I, trip. I, no, that's Wayne. you're totally, look, I've been on way more road trips than all y'all. <laughs> Welcome to the Dur or Die podcast. My name is Dwayne and I'm here with my good friend, John Polnick. And we are talking Porsche as well as apparently, uh, I wouldn't say obscure rock bands, but let's say- uh, Awesome 80s. Awesome yeah, 80s yeah. as well as uh, awesome. deep awesome. cut, All. deep cut rock bands. Would be part of, or would we be talking about first wave? First wave, yeah, yeah. it even has its own genre. Definitely play some and its own serious channel for sure absolutely yeah. so we were we were discussing uh german articles and uh we were talking about uh wiener schnitzel <laughs> which the is original, not a german article the, the original wiener schnitzel was der wiener schnitzel correct and you were to your point you're saying you can't call it die wiener schnitzel because that would be a death dog it would nobody uh, wants no one wants a death dog, dog. and right. then jason actually referred to a uh the band, what's it called? Well, why don't why don't you introduce the introduce the oh, okay. other the other people that are in the room? Absolutely, my, my fault. So we are also joined today by Matt Whitesall, one of the founding members of Nine Fourteen Rubber, and also of Bam Badass bam, bam. Marketing. M Bam, Matt's Badass Marketing. It's an M Bam. There, I missed the M on the front. Um, and our good friend uh, Jason Alter, aka Jason Aldean. As well as the one, the only mental, right? Mental you ward can't is leave touching mental. buttons. Absolutely, yes, he's back no, there. But, but always happy to be here. And himself. We, we we've got that Shh. out of the way, so now we can talk about uh, new wave. What do What'd we do on it? this show? What do we even do here? What first wave, show? first wave, new wave. Does anybody? Why is anyone watching? Are you watching the show? Thanks. Have you have you subscribed? Hey, have you hit the like notification button. All those I, I want to put forth show. the the uh, idea that we no longer have to say like and subscribe, right? That's kind of a given. Everyone knows YouTube. Everyone knows that everyone wants you to like and subscribe to your video. That's such Even a the boomer ring the bell. position. Or, and maybe, I mean, I know we're- You're saying my position's a boomer position? I How am dare you? because look, you and I are both Gen Xers and we are boomer adjacent. And I have yeah. to- I have to. That could be a new thing, fact. boomer adjacent. Okay. We are boomer adjacent. And I, as much, like I reject the <laughs> Some idea- Some of us way more than others. Right? <laughs> I, I absolutely, look, where's the hammer? Where's the hand? Okay. My partner What's your on my TikTok other handle? podcast, uh, we make another podcast called uh, Bid Nerds, and my partner, Michael Deeb, who is older than I am, <laughs> I will go ahead and say that. By he a lot, got one of these fists honestly. for the show mm -hmm. uh, because he always wants to do smash that, you know, subscribe and like Yeah, just button. stop that, I Michael. I hate that phrase. I absolutely despise it, but the thing is, is I don't it think works. it works. It no, I don't work. think it works. It does, Listen, time and time, I think it doesn't it works. work because people already know, for one. No, the, B. the research is in. <laughs> if you ask people to go ahead and hit, the, look, I'm going to go, look, you're watching the, only, the show. The, you're one of four people watching the show. We can tell how many people actually watch the show versus how many people actually subscribe. And we know that more people watch than subscribe. So have you subscribed yet? I don't I'm even know if, if liking so I, do, I, I, helps I, the algorithm anymore. Us, so we want the oh, show well, and, and I'm with Dwayne because it's your marketing is correct, John, but Dwayne says that the person that watches this show hmm. is a They're educated, intelligent, thank you, consumer. You get and, what I'm laying down. Boomer knew. adjacent. So, <laughs> so you're boomer adjacent. So if you're watching this, you get it, man. Just, just you know, we don't have to tell you to hit the like and subscribe. There are, yeah, there's that, several that millennials just, that watch this. You're just ton, totally gonna. That would people. be true if we looked at it and we said, okay, the same amount of people who have watched the show have actually subscribed to the show, and that is not the case. So, because because there's a lot of boomers. Guys, of, there's a lot of boomers that are that you know, I'm not gonna watch this. Whatever we've covered in the once, last guys. So every time I watch it, doesn't mean I can resubscribe. So four of us that are watching it can only subscribe once that's a good point whatever we've discussed in the last go ahead jason i do watch a show but thank I'm, you buddy i'm non-committal <laughs> oh, okay <and laughs> i don't subscribe so there you go you're that, probably not alone in that that fear. is um, an, a gen x kind of uh trait. that is i think old, boomers are probably more likely to be susceptible to the instruction of subscribe now it's the little button in the corner uh a boomer will be like 
okay, how do I do that? Hey, 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 that's ageism. Do that, right? I resemble Absolutely. that. Uh, but us Gen Xers are like, nah, screw authority, man. Yeah. Screw the man. And then <laughs> F the you, I'm not. Generation won't do what you like, tell me. Uh, you know, they're like your greatest contribution to society is uh, doing as you're told. You're doing great. Yeah, yeah, right. no. I, I, you just explained what we were saying a few minutes ago. So I was listening to another podcast in a similar genre. Let's say Cars. And there's more assholes that do a show like <laughs> they this. They spent the first 15 minutes oh, talking Sorry, about their people. Patreon. My pledge to you is we won't do that. We'll talk about other we, stuff, we but we have not have done that. And we will never do that. <laughs> if you want to so send there us you go. money, figure out a way to send us money or contribute. Here's my Maybe Venmo we'll in the shirts comments. Shirts or something no, or really. whatever. But um, yeah, what there's a there's an auto show they could come to. JP, I would like yeah, to discuss two things. Whoops, two things today. We have a topic. You bought a Porsche. I did. And secondly, Monterey, Car Week, which you did both. You bought a Porsche and then you went to Car Week. I think you did a you did a Porsche road trip. I have a television program on Pluto TV called Porsche Road Trip, and I like to, you know, I mean, look, it's not fiction. It's not fiction. I I, I think I put my money where my mouth is. Right. I bought a dang Porsche mm -hmm. and I drove it. I I bought a car in Boise, Idaho. I love Boise. Can I just say yeah. that? Yeah. It's pretty nice. Down yeah, Boise it's is got awesome. four seasons. Jason, Jason Al, uh, Aldean wanted to get in on this. What, what are you guys no, saying? I, uh, I was just saying that that is, uh, you do live the life, but that is uh, that is an epic week. That's got to be a week that stays etched in uh, in your memory as, uh, as an amazing time. Bonnie. How many pages yeah, in your diary did you Taking a road fill? trip. Yeah. Okay. Are no, they sticking you know, together? Look, That's my second question. You're right, Jason. And I know you've done the same thing. And I know a lot of people who are watching this would probably have too. I mean, I think one of the most fun parts about, I mean, if you've ever watched like the DWA podcast, those guys uh, talk about it a lot. Buying a car from somewhere non-local is pretty awesome Yeah. because you get to go on an adventure. Big time. Um, you know, you're taking a, an inherent risk by just spending the money to get to that location. If yeah. it's several states away, yeah. you flew up, obviously, so you could drive. Flew up to Be yeah. uh, to Boise, mm -hmm. uh, bought the car from a very good friend. Um, this is this is a car that I've wanted for years. I remember when he got it, uh, coveting this car. He actually had it on an early version or earlier edition of this show when this show. Used I remember to that live it was sitting on, uh, right behind the in the background. Yeah, yeah, in our old studio, in the Duradai studio. Uh, in the arts district. Uh, now we're in the container park in downtown. Mm -hmm. We Texas. upgraded. So, yeah, I, I don't know about that. <laughs> we're uh, better now. This, it's fancier in here, but it sucks that we can't pull a car in here. But anyways, there is an episode where my car uh, used to be Kelly's car. It was sitting behind us. And uh, man, I just love that car. Uh, so I finally got the opportunity to own it. Uh, so I flew up there. He was kind enough to let me stay at his beautiful home uh, and, with his family and everything. And we had a great, uh, great time. Mm -hmm. I got up in the morning. I was so excited to leave and get on the road trip because I wasn't just driving from Boise back to Las Vegas. You're like, I don't want to be a rude guest, but... I need to go see my car. I want to get like, on the road, man. Are I want you to get doing, You're started. banging dishes yeah. around. We like, go, go back to, it's 5 a.m. Yeah. I'm trying to sleep in. They got a like Christmas morning. Yeah. So I get in the car, you know, and I look at it and the, and the gas gauge says it's, it's half a tank. And I'm like, okay, I'm just, you know, you start a road trip. You want to just get on the road. Get no, out of town. wait a minute. Wait, wait, who doesn't fill up? That's the first thing I do oh, when man, I go on a road I, trip. I, no, that's Wayne, you're totally. Look, I've been on way more road trips than all y'all. <laughs> that's what I said. So when I bought the 964s in Bend, Oregon, did the same thing. I was so excited. I was jacked up. I drove out of town. And I looked and I had a half a tank and I'm like, huh, I have no idea where I'm at. Turned around and got gas. Thank God I did. Yeah. Because the there's nothing between was like 300 miles away. <laughs> yeah, I exactly. That's the same question I asked. Uh, well, okay. Uh, here's the thing, though. Especially I do Boise. know the route. I've done the. There's nothing. Well, I know, I, and okay. I know, but I, I, I know how far away the gas stations are from one another in mm -hmm. that area of the country. Uh, be for those of you who don't know, I have a place in Washington uh, that's kind of my old home. So I, I've done that route a million times. But even then, I just is that I forty. What is it? It is well. It's it's ninety three to the eighty four to the eighty two to the ninety to the I five. Yeah, a bunch mm. of freeways, but. The whole point is that, you know, leaving Boise, I knew that, okay, every 20 miles there's a fuel, uh, there's a truck stop out in the middle of nowhere or whatever. Um, and <laughs> I, I, I hate to be rude because I do yeah. want to hear about this trip and I'm sure everyone does. But uh, yeah, while no, thanks going, for interrupting, Mental. No, no, go ahead. What did you tell want? Tell us about the car. No one cares oh, about it? the, no one cares so far. 
Oh, the gas station down the street has a lovely sausage breakfast. It was not a 914. My point is the, the, the gas gauge said it had half a take, so I figured I had at least a half hour to an hour of driving. And, and we want to hear that. Tell us about the car. Who cares what, about what the did car? You, what Nobody did you cares get, for God's This is a sakes. sweet black Carrera? Uh, it is an 86 backdate, so it's a car that kind of it's inspired by a 73 RS. Um, I do have a picture of it up on the uh, on the laptop. I don't know if you can see. So it, it. has the Carrera flair still. It's still yeah. So it's, it's an 86 backdated. 86 guts, uh, but it's backdated uh, backdated you know bump front and rear nose. Uh, so it has all the you know the RS nose. It has the ducktail. Um, it has 15 inch. Is it spooks. steel? Uh, it, or is it glass? Fiberglass. Uh, par- parts of it are glass. Parts of it are steel. Like so the, the bumpers, bumpers are, are steel, but the but the the hood and the tail are are uh, are, gu- are mm. glass. Yeah. So which you know big like, big uh, weight savings and everything like that, and it's got the little it's got the cool uh, kind of race style rubber things that hold the hood down. Oh yeah, like the uh, hold hold downs. Yeah. I don't like know what, what, what you called. exactly what you just said. Uh, exactly what I <laughs> These things. just said. The rubbery, stretchy deals that hold the hood down. Yeah. Uh, and same thing with the rear deck lid. So I can't like lock the front hood. So anything that I put in there is pretty much someone can take You're up time. at Motel 6 late at night looking through the yeah, blinds. Like, yeah. But it does have like power my... windows. It has an, air, uh, an AC pump which um, was not working at oh, all bogus. on my 2200 mile road trip uh through august in the summer going down the west hot coast, in these rhinos really hot the thing i was worried about it was obviously overheating i didn't have that problem uh it had as, as an external oil cooler in the front the thing never really got hotter than half on the uh, on the gauge assuming mm-hmm. the gauges work it seemed like it was working pretty well yeah the careers don't don't even have uh delineations did i say that right yeah you're like right. numbers yeah they just, just have like marks. red yeah middle and or yeah. other way around. Yeah, yeah. Like pull over. Mm-hmm. I think it's. Can I ask you a question, JP? This epic road trip that you went up there and you went to Car Week with this badass car in these harrowing circumstances. How much of this did you film? Hardly any of it. Mr. Porsche Road Trip. But didn't it's. Film I get Porsche it. Road trip. It's a true vacation because he does a lot of stuff centered around media. So this is like. A true driving thing where he just gets to sit back, grab the wheel, and chill. But the parts chill. That he does that are this epic. Come That's on, true. Man. I mean, it missed opportunity a little we bit. Went, we little went bit. from LA into Canada during COVID. You know how much of that we filmed? Also va- vacation. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, 14.9%. During COVID, nobody on the road. We're up there driving these sick ass roads. Nobody's in our way. Amazing time. Boy, I wish I could look back at some of that stuff. That's when they broke the cannonball run was when during COVID, no one was on the roads. Yeah. Did you read about that? Yeah. Anyway, so you, you got this uh, backdated badass. It's black. And black it, on black. It, yep. Originally, he had campies on it. Uh, uh, gold Campanellos, 15-inch yeah. that looked just it so looked killer. amazing. But he wanted to keep those bad boy wheels. So well, he was, I mean, he wasn't super interested in keeping them. He was just like, he didn't want to sell them to me because they're worth so much. Oh. And I didn't want to pay the freight, you know, knowing that, uh, honestly, the Group 4 makes basically the same wheel, uh, you know, a copy of the wheel that is right. every bit as good. Because you're going to drive this one. and I'm going to drive this car. So uh, Mental's absolutely right. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and reach out to our friend Eric Lind, the Captain Chaos, and uh, order myself some 15-inch uh, Campanolo. Oh, you're going off. with the 15s? I am. I'm I proud of you, man. I'm going to go I'm with the 15s. Yeah. Good for you. Because 16s on a back date, even 17s, no. Yeah, 17s, do no 17s, 16s, no way. 17s, no way. 16s, you can kind of get away with because it's got the flares and everything I scoff like in your general direction if, if you do that. So. It really is. It's the it's the tire. The, the problem is that there are hardly any tires available, as you well know, uh, in the 15-inch Except stocks. awesome tires. Right. So, and like, it, race it's tires, R-type tires. tires. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's a Porsche. What are you going to put I some... Do, uh, you know, they're actually... I'm going to have to pay that. So yeah. if they were 16 inch, I could get awesome tires too, but they would cost half the money. Actually, you can get Direzas, whoops, excuse me, which are kind of a entry level summer extreme tire for 120 bucks per tire. That's okay. Well, we'll have that conversation anyway, because I'm yeah. going to need to, you know, it was funny because the, he had the Fuchs sitting there uh, and you know, the tires were on it were looked brand new, but of course were over 10 years old. Mm. They were totally aged out. So I'm like, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get those replaced. So the only thing available in Boise were some like 
you know, what are they called? Just Mojave. Like, just like G- <laughs> Mojave Tire. GT, some like general tire. Oh, it was. general. Uh, yeah. Wait. <laughs> that was what's all the har- I could find. It's Harbor yeah. Freight brand. Yeah. In a Walmart, <laughs> they will outlast. They have Discount a, tire. Yeah. yeah. They have a tread wear of 7,000 <laughs> and they have the traction <laughs> made out of, steel. of a, yeah, of a polished sponge. I think it was like a Falcon like is polished sponge. Those. That's what I like on the 914s. On the 15s. Okay. All right. Uh, what tires would you guys suggest I put on 15s out there? Uh, Pirelli. Subscri- uh, some, or? I, you know, I pushed this car. I didn't go too nuts on the drive. I, I wasn't going bonkers. We When I got to Seattle, met up with a bunch of friends, and we did some back road driving uh, because there's amazing roads up there, and I know them really well, and I met up with uh, my friend Zach, uh, who I grew up with. He did a, the car surprise uh, you on any of those uh, roads that you, you knew? You know, again, even on, you, yeah. yeah. I mean, now this car has, is set up from a suspension point of view. Oh. It has turret drop links and just up to um, uh, bushings and the swing yeah, just, arm I mean, the... just uh, the underside of this thing is like, wow. Uh, Kelly spent some money on some cool, cool bits under this thing. So uh, I'm excited to go in there and tweak a bunch of that. Mm-hmm. Uh, but, you know, with those tires having a lot of sidewall, uh, I, I did kind of feel like there's a little body roll, though. Yeah. Uh, but I didn't have any grip problems really on any of the roads that I was on. I didn't go, like I said, I didn't go too nuts because I didn't know the car well enough and I certainly didn't trust the tires. Uh, but we were clipping a lot. Uh, and, I, you know, I, I was happy with the car and it was uh, dry condition, so I didn't really have any big problems. Um, but what, what tires do you guys think I should put on the car? Uh, tell us in the uh, comments below and uh, maybe we'll talk more about tires or something actually interesting right after this. Okay guys, I want to tell you about Vegas Auto Fest. The drivers are coming. This is one of our big sponsors. It's the biggest car show of the year in Las Vegas. It's one of the coolest car shows you can possibly experience anywhere. If you haven't made plans to be part of Vegas Auto Fest on September 17th, then do it now. Go to VegasAutoFest.com and register your car. You think you're a car enthusiast? Doesn't matter where you live. Plan a trip to Vegas on September 17th and come out and see this show. It's like Monterey Car Week all in a day. Have you ever been to the Quail? Have you ever been to Works Reunion? Have you ever been to Amelia Island? All those car shows are amazing and great. Have you been to Luftkult? Sure, but Vegas Auto Fest is something special. Make a plan for September 17th. We'll see you in Vegas. All right. So Matt says that I didn't record any of my road trip. Mm -hmm. Here is me on Instagram going across the Golden Gate Bridge. Oh, look at that. You can go on my Derfascination Instagram page and you can see all kinds of video of. Okay. I hardly filmed anything. I have a question for you, though. I didn't film crap. At that moment when you were crossing the Golden Gate Bridge. Look at that still. Yeah. Did you regret buying a coupe and not having. A cab I at am that moment. Not a pointy hatted cabrio. <laughs> I'm, I'm just sure asking. You have a clan that gets together. Where you like talks about how get much this you roof hate, off of me right now? I'm crossing the bridge. Cabrios. I want. I want my hair blowing in the. I know you're prejudice. I know that you <laughs> have calcified preconceived notions of what uh, cabrio can, is. Can, can, can I? Can, can I? I ask know you have question? a little white outfit with holes in the sheets. <laughs> let's let's whoa, we'll, we'll play. We'll, uh, we'll play that, the. We'll play the scale. It's 2022, hey, Dwayne. When you were when you were driving across when you were driving across with your sunroof open and windows down, do you say, "Oh, wow"? I really appreciate the immeasurable bit of structural fortitude in this one since there's no uh, roof cut off on it. Stop and, sticking and up really... for JP. <laughs> I was terrified that the sunroof wouldn't close again. I, I don't like oh, touching yeah. that button. <laughs> they, they can, uh, look, that's why they sell the emergency tool. It's like this little can you opener. You have a 40 something year old car. You don't, there's certain electronic stuff. You the just sunroof like, is usually a no, no. Yeah, yeah. dude. Until you we, get home. When we parked at, uh, so I stayed with Deeb, our good friend, Michael Deeb in San Francisco. And the next morning when we got up to go to works reunion, you know, it was drizzly and cold and stuff. And that was the coldest the car had been. And the windows wouldn't go up and down. I mean, everything was just pissed off. The car was just like, what? Screw does it have roll? Ro- yeah, does it have manual we, windows? No, it actually has power windows. Oh, okay. It's an 86 car. Yeah, I didn't know if he backdated. Yeah. Some people backdated. Yeah. I mean, know, he didn't go everything. that deep. And, you know, so whatever. Anyways, you know, once the car warmed up, it was happy and it was fine. Everything worked great. But it was like, I made, you know, if you've ever been to San Francisco, you know how those old, like, 
block those like brownstone type houses they're super narrow they're right next to one another mm -hmm. and you have this like driveway that if you can even call it a driveway it's like the entrance to the garage it's got like this concrete it's like there's like two inches yeah an inch you of need a moped basically yeah. to be able and, to park there and you know how small porsches are old 911s mm -hmm. you know compared to modern cars i don't know how you would get a modern car into this little driveway but my car barely fit in there and it was like up over this hump when i pulled out that little tow hook under there on the front of a 911, you know, the little loop that, that yeah. steel loop. Took out a street person or? Dragged oh. across the <laughs> concrete and made that horrible, you know, steel across. Everyone in the neighborhood concrete. stuck their head out the window. <laughs> so you can never use it if you actually need it. Right. I mean, I'm sure I woke up everyone in the neighborhood. It was like 530 in the morning. It was the most awful sound. Was it like, wasn't oh. the previous 19 revs that you did warming yeah. it up. No, that, you know, whatever. <laughs> Just that describe one ticked off, but now I'm just like really like so if a, any of us didn't have that option on our alarm clock, that would not be the sound that we would wake up to <laughs> as a an older air cooled six just warming up in the morning. That would be how, great. How the far steel is steel dragging across concrete? Not so no, much. no, no, Mount no. Carmel from or uh, was Carmel by the sea. Yeah, Carmel by the sea. Uh, yeah, thank no, you. I mean, it's a good two and a half hour drive. Uh, yeah, I remember it's kind of like over the mountain yeah, you and through the hills. Santa yeah, Cruz and all that stuff. Did you go to the boardwalk? Uh, no, no, I went there when I was in the 80s. Yeah. Punk rocks everywhere. So, anyway, uh, um, Lost Boys. You know, Lost um, Boys. Yes. We no. We, you know, we went straight to Works Reunion. Got in. It was funny. They wanted cash. I didn't have any. Like, sorry. And they're like, I'm backing up all this traffic. And they're like, just go. Nice. And you know, whatever. And I was like, I wasn't trying to pull a fast one. I would have paid. <laughs> Have to 20 or like 50 40 bucks to 40 park bucks. at works reunion everything it i mean monterey is absurdly expensive that's sure, why sure yeah but i anyways whatever works reunion was great works reunion uh you know a sure on is like considered a, a junker there. there yeah right yeah no you see just amazing cars all over the place when you're in uh, monterey during car week uh, it's it's sensory overload. Of course, the show is just awesome, you know. But really, who cares about the cars? It was just seeing all our friends, you know, all the people you haven't seen in a few years. Sure, uh, we're out there. Of course, Ben, the professor, was there working at Sierra Madre, uh, and he was, was he was he yeah. was working at Sierra Madre. Well, he booth? works for Sierra Madre. He does. They have a booth there. Yeah, he's what. I didn't if know that. If you call Sierra Madre. You get Ben? You get Ben, no the way. professor. That's the guy So I was get. just uh, looking at a part there, and I was going to call. That would have been so funny. I should have called. Been 14 yeah. part, you're getting Ben. Yeah. Yeah. True. They, there you go. I need, I need a AC Madre. replacement panel. You know, they don't sponsor AC. the show. What's up, Sierra yeah. Madre? Never mind. We Erase have that. Like Thirty-two people that you could be marketing towards. <laughs> Erase that name. Go ahead and and, and, and they can be had cheap. Yeah, I mean, come on, <laughs> sponsor the show, guys. Just five percent off the parts. That's Think all I'm of asking. All the masses that you could reach, Sierra Madre. Yeah. Uh, no, that's was, cool. I didn't know he did that. To see everyone, uh, Rich from Scientific. Well, uh, I want. I wanted to ask you. Because you have this whole thing against like the pleated pants crowd. Yeah. Isn't that the ultimate pleated pants crowd? It is. Okay. But, mixed but in, you you had to go to the show. Mixed into all those people are all the cool people too. Okay. You know, I mean, there are, there are all the Gen Xers, the, the geriatrics, the, the people that are excited about getting a, a polo shirt that has the PCA logo on it. You know, there's a huge line of people trying to buy that crap. Uh, but you know, in there were all the people that were, that are just great Porsche people as well. Hmm. Uh, I'm pretty sure that I was probably the only person that drove 2000 miles to get there. Uh, you know, hmm. just about everyone else there in trailered the in their nice cars. What's that? They made a tow to car. There. Yeah. They yeah. Broke. I'm sure there were cars that went, came from further away. Did they towed but, in their Peter Brock, uh, <laughs> Airstream yeah, trailer. Aero trailer Aero, yeah. yeah. Those things are awesome. Yeah, I want one. They are awesome. Um, nice guy too. His wife. He said it. I did. He said it. No, she, uh, she, she said, so we, uh, we put on the Vegas Auto Fest, which is coming up on the 17th of, um, oh, yeah, of September. Yeah. I registered, Vegas. by the way. Oh, thank you very much. Very good. Mm -hmm. If you haven't registered to Vegas Auto Fest, do so now. It's if you're one in one of the greatest car shows in the country every year. Southern California or Utah or Colorado or Arizona, Seattle, whatever. It's very close. And you get to hang out in Vegas. You That's really true. could. You and can it really fly to is Vegas the cheap. most unique auto show experience that you can have i mean it's if you've been to if you like car week if you like works reading if you like pebble beach if you like all that kind of stuff uh vegas auto fest is a car show like no other we have showgirls uh we have showgirls on jet skis we have uh <laughs> we have you know, monkeys on showgirls cars on jet skis. we have you know the ferrari from ferrari versus 
Ford versus Ferrari. I mean, we just it's just an amazing spectacle on the, one of the most beautiful places uh, in the world up there in the at the Red Rock Country Club. Yeah, um, I know the really chef. Truly, that he's the he's important up there. I know him. You know him. Yeah, you're a friend of Chef. I am. <laughs> so, yeah. more than I make it though almost every show it's true there Matthew you go has been to all of them if matt white's all goes you know it's a good you know it's a good show, show. the all first year we did it we reached yep. out to uh peter brock uh for arrow vault to see if they wanted to have a display at the mm -hmm. show and she responded with oh this show i'm sure it'll be great for like your frat bros what yeah oh dude she was a complete b she like oh. was like this is i'm sure it's a really cool car you do have show. a lot of frat bros though yeah i mean it's like uh, okay what is wait going did on? you know her prior hey, to that hey, or she yeah she went used to, to college oh. that's an upgrade yeah she <laughs> they're was learned just like the biggest b to us well everybody has their off day i'm gonna give her the, the I, we, yeah the so we were like honestly that's mine's kind of every what day, made it's an off day vegas auto fest <laughs> because that was the first show and we were like oh this bitch we are, you know, at that at that point, I, was I like, keep trying of, to bail you out of this conversation. You just keep going back. Show, He's like, but I, once she did seriously? that to us, I was like, I'm going to make this the greatest car show of all time. And they've got that stupid uh, Las Vegas Concours, guys. If you was that the, the same Las weekend? Vegas Concours, it's like three. Weeks it was later. like two hundred dollars or something crazy. Two hundred, hundred bucks for a spectator pass. Oh my goodness! Right in Las that Vegas. That tells you everything you need to know, right literally, there. Literally, I, you know, mm -hmm. we, I, we always joke about how many people watch this show or some of our other stuff, but literally, like a hundred people went to the show. And this was like forty there acres. A hundred people there. spread out over forty acres. Yeah, and they've done it like three years in a row, and nobody shows up to this thing. They charge all the money in the world. Like last year, they did it at the uh, at the ballpark in Summerlin there, and it was all mm -hmm. these cars. Like, are they letting are, are, are human beings allowed in is <laughs> I, this, I like is that are they is it okay i i, I don't want to i don't want to do the the you know the price comparison yeah but i'm thinking for that kind of money you could totally come to the vegas auto fest have a great time and buy me a beer there and you go still Good. come away ahead well, hey like here's on the, the thing. front side mental's of gonna be there and you could buy him a beer uh, so draw, buy mental a beer look mm -hmm. the vegas auto fest and mental does great work at uh, vegas auto fest he helped us he does so much great work there so thank you mental uh, he's look, mowing the lawn at like it's, 3 a.m it's 15 dollars to get in or whatever mower. to the vegas auto fest and all of it goes to the children's heart foundation all of it okay the whole door goes to the charity wait all of it all of it Wow. The whole door goes to the charity. Every, Good all the for money, you guys. I didn't know that. All the money thought, that comes from the sponsors. I thought Chef was just like, I'm going to get cost. a new GT3. Yeah, no. It's, you, nobody makes any money on this thing. You know, yeah. whereas... Very in the lead, but then in the ads. Yeah, you're probably yeah, right. And it's, 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 nobody makes any money, but everybody makes new friends. That's true. That's true. Las Vegas Concord, they just like charge all this money from the sponsors and from the spectators that don't show up. And it all goes into... You know, Bellagio. They head on down. They put it all in black at the end of the night. It's crazy. So you went to Monterey. Yeah. You drove uh, from Boise to, what do you call that? Central California? Well, I went from the Boise California to Seattle. To Seattle. Spent a few then days went there. Down. Then went down to Portland. No speeding tickets. Matthew Weitzel totally stood me up. Uh, went to Buzzkill. CC's Coffee. I'm wearing a CC's Coffee uh, place. Uh, hats is that real is seattle he, uh, no this coffee. is in portland oh, okay uh matthew actually introduced me it's this really cool place they have like a saturday portion of meat pretty much a standing portion of meat there nice. uh great little it's kind of like a day house type coffee joint uh in portland really cool place uh met my friend alex there hung out uh and then just drove down straight down uh well i didn't get all the way down so i think i stopped in reading or whatever but then made my way to the bay mm -hmm. uh stayed at uh deep's place and then the next morning went to Works Arena, and then from Works Arena, I, I drove straight home. Reading's kind of like a flyover state, so I, I get it. Redding, you stop there for gas, and you're like, I'm out of here. I have been to Reading <laughs> so many times. Just kidding, Reading people. Sheesh. I, seriously, off the I-5, it's just like, oh, God, Reading. Uh, this was the first time that, I, you know, I got on Hotels Tonight or whatever, the app. Mm -hmm. And it took, you know, I was looking for, and it was like, oh, this is a cool looking place. And it took me to Places downtown. with garages. Reading. Yeah, and it was actually the downtown area is kind of cool have you hmm. ever been to downtown reading if you've never been no, to downtown so there's that strip right next to the freeway it's all just like denny's and that's the reading Hotel i know six it's just yeah. like oh god get me out of here but they have like a little downtown core that's actually pretty dope they have it's they have this, it's good to know yeah so if you ever if you ever have to stop in reading get off the i-5 go into go town to like downtown. a mile and a half or whatever go to downtown me, and check out the really cool places down there give really me cool your stuff. your 
top five things you saw at uh, at Car Week? In I mean, no particular I only order. went to works. Okay, give me your top five works. I didn't go works. to anything else that works. It's people. There's, I, I couldn't tell you what cars were there. I couldn't care less. Um, well, I, really, I mean, I just mean really like any. Care. Okay. You know, I mean, obviously seeing Ben, uh, seeing uh, all my friends there, you know, it was. <sighs> did it, Did you meet anyone new that was like, hey, you know, I've kind of seen some Yeah, of I should shout out to some fans and... of Bid Nerds. Um, oh, we nice. do the We do the daily Bid okay. Nerd show. And uh, I was shocked by how many people uh, recognized uh, Dion. They're like, that Ford Pinto that you said was going to go for twenty nine nine ninety nine. <laughs> they were all these really like, oh my off. God, it's a bid nerd. I'm like, what is wrong with you? Why do you watch us? You did have the terrible? shirt that said bid. We don't have bid nerd shirts. <laughs> I'm kidding. We don't. Otherwise, I totally would have worn that. Um, no, no, it was really cool. The uh, bid nerd bid nerd shirt if, if there were bid nerd totally shirts we would yeah. all have one uh no it was really cool uh we saw a bunch of people that uh, recognized us from there and some people that recognized uh Porsche road trip so it was really cool to just kind of see people and saying hello and and uh kind of getting connected i mean i was honestly kind of hiding it was a little mm. a little bit overwhelming and my my ocd was kind of kicking in and i was getting a little bit of kind of introverted i was hiding behind trees and stuff i just find really, a sink quick. yeah kind of gotten to a point where i didn't want to Look, I, I love meeting new people and stuff like that. And I don't want to be like Matt Farrow where it's like, oh, it's terrible to meet our fans. It's, it, it's <laughs> no, it, it's, it's awesome. Anytime someone acknowledges, you know, our shows and the stuff that we do, it's, I, I couldn't be more grateful that mm-hmm. anybody spends more than two minutes watching any of this stuff. So thank you if you're watching the show or any of the other shows that we do. Um, and I really want to meet you. And, and, and if you ever like, oh, should I talk to that guy? Look, I'm the one that's embarrassed. Uh, don't be embarrassed to come and say hello. We yeah. would love hearing from And bring you. a five dollar bill. That's yeah, what he charges money. for signatures. Really, that's what we want. So I mean, just money. Yeah. yeah. So we can buy more Porsches. <laughs> no, it's so true. Uh, no, it was a great time. Um, they could use more food trucks at Works Reunion. The lines. It, are how long have they been doing horrible. this? I don't wow. know, man. It's just. But they had bathrooms. Yeah, lots of porta potties. Okay, that's uh, good. The weather was great. It was nice to get away from the heat, so it was like okay. And then I got back in the hot car and got out of there and uh, got back yeah, in the heat. Back, so, back to Vegas. Well, cool. Yeah, good story. Good times. Good All stuff. Right. Good story, bro. You're making fun. <laughs> no, I. <laughs> All right, guys. What yeah. do you think? Did you go to Works Reunion? Did you go to Car Week? What was the coolest thing that you saw there? Tell us in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Mm-hmm. Uh, we, uh, you know, what do you think of what do you think of my car? Am I a dork? I will tell you that my one photo of it on Instagram has gotten more attention. That has the most likes of all the content you've posted in the last. Well, no, not. I mean, it, that's not the case. But mm. it has more likes uh, than any photo I've ever posted. Of my 993 cab. Uh, wow. So, Just kind of I mean, confirming yeah, the bias. Put it out there. You're, you're a total dork. That car makes you look like garbage. <laughs> it's you true. Totally sell it to me. I mean, I'm a true. Genius. I'll, I'll take it off your hands. That's one of those cars uh, I'm yeah. not allowed to sell, though. Uh, the, yeah, the, the person I bought that car from was a good friend of mine. And he said, if I ever sell it, we're not friends. Uh, he gets first dibs. So. Yep. Anyways, guys, we're ending this show. It's yep, over. It's, it's done. It's way too long. We burned this sucker. I've been burned. Uh, so there it is. Uh, oh, this is Thanks another for watching. episode of Dura Die. Thank yep. you for bringing up the watch thing. See you next time. <laughs> Peace.